<laughs> a couple goes to the doctor and says, Doctor, watch us during a... We feel like something's wrong. They start having... Moans, sighs, mutual... The doctor says, Everything is fine with you. There's no pathology. But you owe 50 bucks for the visit. They paid and left. The next day they come back. Doctor, watch us again. They have S... Everything is normal again. They paid 50 bucks and left. When they came for the third time, the doctor couldn't take it and asked, What the hell are you bothering me for? You see, Doc, I'm married, and she's married. Of course, we can't meet at her place or mine. A hotel room costs $100, but here I pay you 50, and 43 of them are covered by medical insurance. A driver is returning from a business trip, sees a gypsy woman hitchhiking. He thinks, should he pick her up or not? If you pick her up, she'll talk your ear off. If you don't, she'll curse you. Well, he thinks, let me pick her up, let her talk. The gypsy woman says to him, dear, golden, diamond, let me tell your fortune. I don't need my fortune told. I know what was. I'll find out what will be. Well, then I'll tell you three truths. Well, speak. The first truth. The moon shines but does not warm. True? True. The goat does not shave his beard. True. True. And the third truth. Your wife Mary goes to the neighbor. It can't be. It's not true. I don't believe it. Believe it or don't believe it. The driver comes home. His wife meets him, sets the table, puts a bottle. They drank, ate, and he started telling her what the gypsy woman had told him. He told the first truth. Mary says, Oh, she told the truth. He told the second truth. Mary agrees again. But I won't tell you the third truth, Mary. She pestered him. Tell me, tell me. He says, And the third truth. The neighbor John has such a tiny pe Well, that's not true. A man comes to a 24-hour pharmacy in the evening, puts his hand on the counter and starts slowly drumming his fingers on the counter. A young pharmacist girl asks, Do you need hand cream? No, I need five Viagra pills. I have five girls coming over tonight. He bought the pills and went home. In the early morning, the pharmacy door opens and the same man, barely alive, crawls in crawls to the counter with his last strength, throws his hand on the counter. The young pharmacist, remembering his previous visit, asks, Do you need another five Viagra pills? No, hand cream. The girls didn't show up. A woman gets into a taxi late at night, gives the address, and he takes her where she needs to go. When they arrive, she says she doesn't have any money, but she can pay in kind. Hearing this, the taxi driver exclaims, Great, the fifth in kind of the day. What am I? Uh, well, all right. We'll figure something out. He gets out of the car, finds a man who agrees to take this in kind for a certain sum. The taxi driver takes him to the car. The man gets in. The process begins. The taxi starts to rock. Suddenly, the taxi driver sees a cop walking down the street, shining a flashlight into dark corners. The taxi driver gets scared, hides. The cop approaches the car, shines his flashlight in the window, sees a man there with a woman. He asks, Who are you? The man replies, My wife. The cop says, Oh, I thought she was a... The man replies, so did I, until you shone your flashlight. A 90-year-old man is sitting on a bench in the park and crying bitterly. A young man walks by, sees the crying old man, approaches him, and asks what's wrong. I'm in love with a 25-year-old girl, the old man replied through tears. So what's wrong with that? the young man asks. Sobbing, the old man says, You wouldn't understand. Every morning, before she goes to work, we have At lunchtime, she comes home, and we have Again. Then she cooks my favorite food. When she comes back after work, 
She gives me the best And then, after dinner, we have Again, have Have All night long The old man starts crying again, unable to control himself The young man puts his arm around his shoulders and says Honestly, I don't quite understand you What you just told me sounds like an ideal relationship I don't understand why you're crying the old man sobbed and replied through tears. I forgot where I live. A trolley bus. Everyone is standing so close to each other that it's almost intimate. A tall guy is standing with a girl, about 20 years old, and a grandma, about 80 years old, partially pressed against him. The guy keeps winking at the girl and tries to press closer to her, after which the girl suddenly exclaims, Pervert! The whole bus looks at the trio, and silence falls. The guy. What are you yelling about? You've been stroking my balls for five minutes now, and you're still yelling. The girl. I didn't even touch your balls. The grandma. Why are you staring at me like that? I just wanted you two to become friends. A police officer is sitting in a cafe next to an elderly couple, Suddenly, he hears the grandfather persuading the grandmother to go have a same place where they did it for the first time 70 years ago. The police officer decides to follow them, just to make sure the old goats are all right. The grandpa takes the grandma around a corner, leans her against a fence, and they unexpectedly start having incredibly wild, passionate of unprecedented power, completely incomprehensible for their age. The police officer, shocked, watches the whole scene until the end, then approaches them and, stammering, asks what their secret is. Son, they reply, 70 years ago, this fence wasn't electric. Three hunters went hunting. Two of them had vodka with them, and the third didn't. So he says to the guys, Tie my eyes, give me any game, and I'll guess what it is. It's age and how it was killed. If I guess, you pour me a glass of vodka. They give him a hare. He felt it and said, Hare, five years old, killed with a knife. They poured a glass. They give him a fox. He felt it and said, Brown fox, ten years old, killed with a rifle. They poured a glass. They give him a boar. He felt it and said, Wild boar, fifteen years old, killed with a shotgun. This went on the whole hunt. In the morning, their wives met. The first one says, Ladies, imagine, my husband went hunting with vodka, came back without vodka, and sober. The second one says, I have the same thing. The third one says, Can you imagine, mine went without vodka, came back drunk as a skunk, spent the whole night feeling me between my legs and mumbling, Hedgehog, 42 years old, killed with an axe in the back. After ten years of married life, the wife persuades her husband to go somewhere for the occasion, but he refuses, saying he doesn't like these affairs and suggests they just stay at home. However, she manages to convince him. They arrive at the restaurant and right at the entrance, the doorman asks Jack, the usual table for two in the right corner and a candle? Shh, I'm with my wife today, the maitre d' asks Jack. Jack, shall we start with champagne as usual? Shh! I'm with my wife today. At the end of a story, the star provocatively directly at Jack and asks, Who will pull the last string on the bikini? The whole room chants in unison, Jack! Jack! The wife throws a terrible tantrum at Jack and runs out of the restaurant, catches a taxi. Jack manages to jump into the car and the wife nags Jack all the way back. Then the taxi driver can't stand it anymore and turning around says, What a picked up today, Jack! The zoo acquired a rare female gorilla species. After a few weeks, the veterinarian determined that she was in heat and needed a male. The zoo administration was in search of a male, but to no avail. Then someone noticed the cage cleaner, John, who was known as a big womanizer. 
the administration decided to ask John for help. Would he sleep with the gorilla for a hundred dollars? John asked for time to think. The next day, he said he agreed, but under three conditions. First, no kissing. Second, no relationship with any potential offspring from the act. The administrator quickly agreed to these two conditions and asked John what his third condition was. I need another week to find 100 bucks somewhere. A man goes to the doctor and says, Doctor, I have a problem. My per- The doctor looks, doesn't understand anything. He asks, How is your s- well, like everyone else's, my wife is insatiable. We do it seven times a day. Doctor, don't you get tired? I have four mistresses, and I have to visit each one, and with each one seven times. The doctor, amazed, asks, How about work? I have a young secretary. I can't resist. We do it probably five times. So what's wrong with me? The doctor, Wiping sweat from his forehead, stammering. You're probably very overworked. Your body is reacting like this. You need more rest. Phew. Thank God, doctor. I thought it was because I'm... A student walks into a... Says to the madam, I want the best girl you have. The madam replies, That will be a hundred dollars. The student counts his money and finds he only has twenty-five dollars. Well then, how much for a brunette? He asks. That would be $80, the madam replies. And how much for a redhead? That would be $60, she says. What about a... He asks. That would be $40. Okay, then how much for a... That would be $30. The student is feeling really disappointed. He was about to leave, but the madam offers him a skier for $25. The student thinks to himself... A skier must be an athlete, at least she'll be fit, and agrees to the skier. They take him to the skier's room, and there he sees a charming brunette in a robe. She tells him, undress and lie down on the edge of the bed, I'll go take a shower. The student undresses and sees another man lying on the edge of the bed. He thinks, well, for twenty-five dollars, with a woman like that, I might as well have a threesome and lies down on the other side. They lie there waiting. The skier comes in, takes off her robe, lies down between them, takes each of their members in her left and right hands and says, Well, beggars, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Evening. A desert in Nevada. A bar and a gas station by the road. Hundreds of miles in either direction. Not a soul. A truck driver walks into the bar. Double whiskey. Then another round. He confidentially asks the bartender, And how are you with girls here? No girls. I can only offer old Chinese Wong. What? Are you kidding? I'm not gay. He takes another whiskey. Then another. Then nature takes its course. Listen, what about that Chinese Wong? Four hundred bucks. Why so much? A hundred for me, a hundred for him, and two hundred for the two guys who will hold him. After all, he's not gay, either. A French woman is walking through the Boulogne forest. Suddenly a man jumps out onto the path, grabs her, drags her into the bushes, and has his way with her. After a while he asks, Listen, when you go home and your husband asks where you've been, what will you tell him? Well, she says, I'll tell him the truth, that I was walking through the Boulogne forest, when suddenly a man jumped out, grabbed me, dragged me into the bushes, and did it twice. Twice? It was only once. What, are you in a hurry? At a restaurant, the waiter has a spoon tied to a string around his neck. A customer asks, Excuse me, but why do you have a spoon on a string? Imagine this. I'm bringing you soup, and a fly falls into it, so I carefully take it out with the spoon, not with my hands. It's both pleasant and hygienic for you. I see, but what's that string sticking out of your pants? 
Well, if I suddenly want to go to the bathroom, I'll pull it out by the string so I don't dirty my hands. And how do you put it back? Back in, with the spoon. A girl was invited by her friend to go for a drive. As she was leaving, her mother said, Look, when you guys are coming back, surely the car will break down. And in the local hotel, there will be only one single room available. Of course, your friend will offer you to sleep on the bed, and he will settle in the chair. But be careful. Otherwise, when you fall asleep, he will pounce on you and disgrace you, me and your entire family. The next morning, the girl returns home. Mom, thank you for warning me. Everything was exactly as you predicted. Only I, to prevent him from disgracing us all, allowed him to lie on the bed, and I settled in the chair. And when he fell asleep, I pounced on him and disgraced him, his mother and his entire family. <laughs> uh <-huh>. uh -huh. <laughs>